we're going to look at natural logarithms. So natural logarithms are logarithms which are to the base of the number e. So the number e may be new to you. So we're going to just use the calculator. I want to show you on your calculator. You're going to look for most of the calculators have a button that would be e to the x. It's often above, it's near the log button probably, and it's often above, above a button that says LN. And so that's where it is on my calculator. And we'll talk about that button more today too. So this is actually the natural log button. So if you look on, <clears throat> again, I have a graphing calculator, which you are using probably a different calculator. But if I look at my natural log button above it, I have E to the X. So I would have to go shift and put that in. Now, some calculators will tell you what that value is right away. My calculator is asking me what I want the X value to be. So if I want to know what E is, <clears throat> I want to put one in because anything to the exponent one is itself. So this is what the value of E is worked out to be. 2.71828.1828. And it continues. It's an irrational number. So 2.71828.2818, et cetera. Now you are expected to know without a calculator that this is approximately 2.7. Just like you're expected to know pi is approximately 3.14. So you will <clears throat> need to know that number. Now moving forward, let's look at... Um, f of x equals log e to the x, or you can write this as y if you're more comfortable using y. So instead of writing log e, we can um, abbreviate that to natural log. So ln is what that means. Okay, what does this look like in exponential form? So if I'm given natural log, I actually write it as log base e, so I can see e to the f of x is equal to x. So that's exponential form of the natural logarithm. We just want to practice using our calculator a little bit. If you want to find the value of e to the 3.2, so this is just an exponential function question, you would just type in, so make sure you try on your calculator, shift e for me, and then I put in 3.2, and I get 24.5325. Etc. And then to find the natural log of something, just like you would use your log button, you use a natural log button. So I just chose a number for us to try. And so we get negative 5.2785, et cetera. So just practice on your calculator. Make sure you know where those buttons are and that you can find that. If your calculator, um, you're used to putting in logs, you know, the number first in that button, it would be the same true is true here. If you ever have trouble with your calculators, you can also um, do a quick uh, internet Google search um, by typing in the um, type of calculator you have and just asking how do I use, find the value of E on my calculator or how do I find the natural log button on my calculator.